Hi, this is Sharon and I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name. Now this is ultra simple. Um, I just go to my favourite place to buy them, namesilo.com. Um, now I love that because um, they're cheap anyway. It's only $9 and $8 if you use the coupon code that I have. Um, but the best part is that on renewal it charges you the same price. So it's not like GoDaddy that might let you pay $3 to start with and then charges you $30 on renewal. Okay, it's just $9 and it's always got privacy. So put in the domain you want to buy and just click search. Um, you see it'll come up. Um, so click on .com as long as it's available of course. And then click register check domains. Now that will take you to this screen. The only part that's a little bit tricky of this process is this configuration options. Now you can't really get it too wrong, but what I recommend, um, you can choose to auto renew or not, depends if you want it just to happen. But the main thing is to click who is privacy. Okay, so that will make sure that no one can go to whois.com and see your address, phone number, etc. Like that's really important and it's free with name silo, so just make sure you click who is privacy. Um, you can change it later, but better to do it in the beginning so it's never public. Um, so you can choose whether to order a new or not. Um, and then how many years you want to buy it for. So for a new domain, I tend to just buy it for one year, make sure I still want it, um, but you can certainly buy it for longer. Now if you scroll down, um, you'll see all the information. Now if you enter DNW one off, you get $1 off. Um, I've used this before, so unfortunately it won't work for me because it only lets you do it once, um, but that should work for you if you haven't used Name Solo before. Now just click continue. And this is where you're gonna have to enter all your information. So if you have an existing account, you can log in. And I'm gonna create a new one just for the purposes of showing you. So you need a username, password. Obviously make sure you write this down somewhere so you don't forget, because um, you're gonna need it. Uh, you need a secret question and answer. Um, it's all just the normal type of stuff you need to fill in. So of course here, select to keep your information private. Um, and then you just need to fill it all in. So I'm just gonna nick off a part of this because of all my personal information. Um, but then there's just a bottom at the button at the bottom of the screen that you press to continue. Okay, then you get a payment option screen. So there's lots of different ways you can pay. I tend to just use PayPal because it's a US dollar charge and my, my credit cards are in Australian dollars. So I'd save a little bit of money. Um, but whatever you do, it's fine. It's just like paying for anything else online. So I'm just gonna disappear for a minute while I just go put in my details and pay for that. Okay, so eventually you get here, just accept the conditions, place your order and you're all good to go. So that will take your money. Um, and give you the domain name, assuming it's available. Okay, and then you get to this screen. Um, you can have a look around, you can click here to manage your domains, but you really don't need to do anything else at this point in time. So you can just shut this and move on to the next task. Um, and then we come back here later, once we have the hosting set up, to change the name servers. Um, which I promise you is very straightforward and I'll make another video just to show you um, exactly how you do that.